What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to our episode 47 of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review. This episode, this episode was pretty deep. Uh, it was really cool. And we got to see a really cool battle. Um, the episode starts out with Lily journaling as she's been doing the last couple episodes. It's kind of shifting focus to where I think Lily's probably going to be the secondary character, like definitively behind Ash. Uh, so far, we've only been getting Ash's story, and I think now is the chance we're really going to be get getting Lily stuff, at least for the time being. Um, but she's recounting how the group had fun, supposedly, at Aether Paradise, chasing down the Ditto in the last episode. You can, of course, check out a review of that if you want to. Um, she's still upset that Lucimine is treating her like a baby and says that she's going to have to put a stop to that. And the last thing we see before the intro is Ash bathing all of his Pokemon. This kind of sets up for the entire episode. But first he's bathing Pikachu and you know that goes just fine because it's Pikachu. Then he goes to try and bathe Litten and Litten just ain't having it. So Litten jumps away um, and Lycanroc volunteers to be next. So the intro goes and the episode is titled Gladion and um, I think it's titled Gladion and Type Null, The Confining Mask. Now it could be Gladion and Sil Valley. Um, but I think it's type null because it's type null. It's not Sil Valley because when it has the the head the head armor that's type null. So I'm gonna be calling him null throughout the episode. So we see the start of the episode where Ash is bathing like and uh, in the bubbles he makes what he claims is a Pikachu, uh, and then he claims that it's also a Litten, but he doesn't change anything. I don't know. I don't know. Ash is not the most creative person as far as like artsy things go, uh, as we've seen in the series. Litten walks up and gets scared and um, jumps off the water dish where I guess Ash was like, you know, a water dish. When you're bathing something, you got the water, then you, anyway. Um, so that spills onto uh, Lycanroc as Ash is cleaning him and it turns out that he's dirty. He gets dirt all over himself and his eyes turn red. He goes into a rage and starts chasing Litten around. Um, eventually they wind up both attacking towards each other with Ash in the middle and they all get hit, but everybody's fine. Um, <laughs> so afterwards Lycanroc calms down and lets Ash clean him again. And Ash goes on to wonder how Gladion's doing, saying that he wishes he could show, or he can't wait to show Gladion uh, this dusk form Lycanroc. And Nebby comes up and teleports Ash and Lycanroc off to where Gladion is. Right before the teleport, Pikachu jumps on. It's a really funny little, little scene. Pikachu knows what's about to happen, so jumps on, so Pikachu also gets teleported. Um, Gladion and Null are training at 10 Carat Hill with a bunch of pincer. Uh, and the, uh, Ash and his Pokemon land on top of uh, land on top of those pincers, and they wind up chasing them away. Um, but Null uses his Air Slash to, uh, I guess, get the pincers to run away. Um, so once once Ash comes back and starts talking with Gladion, uh, you can see that Nebby is visibly frightened by Null. Gladion claims that. Um, Gladion claims that Nebby is an Ultra Beast and asks Ash why he's with him, um, to where Ash says that he's not dangerous, uh, and Gladion points out that it's his goal with Type Null to defeat all of the Ultra Beasts, and we find out why um, Gladion seems super chill. They're just sitting on 10 Carat Hill talking, uh, but Gladion reveals that Lily was attacked by a Nihilego, uh, Ultra Beast when she was younger and that's why uh, Lily has trouble touching Pokemon. And Gladion um, promises that he will protect Lily and his Pokemon kind of give like a like an agreement to that point. Um, but I think that's really cool. The Gladion that we see in the game, which I don't, at this point, you know, Sun and Moon, they're, they're such, they're such it seems like they're going to be so bad after Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon come out, which I can't wait for. I meant to say at the beginning of the video, but um, right now, for until Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, we're going to be kind of hanging low. There might be two episodes or two videos um, a day. There might be none. It's just going to depend on what we're doing. But once that comes, anyway, let's get back towards the episode. Um, 
Uh, Gladion says that if Nebby shows any traits of being an Ultra Beast, that he and Type Null will take them down, because that's their whole goal together. And then Gladion goes on to ask Ash what's so special about him. Why does he have Dusk Form Lycanroc? Why did he have a dream about the legendary Pokemon? And why is he being trusted with Nebby? Um, it's very strange, but Ash, Ash suggests a battle. Ash is just like Goku. Ash seems to be just like Goku. Whenever there's a strong opponent, Ash says, hey, let's battle. He wants to battle everybody. Um, so it flashes back to Rotom. Uh, Rotom's like, you know, oh, the gang hasn't teleported back yet. I wonder where they went. He puts on his little, uh, his little wig that he uses to be Detective Rotom. And then apparently there's like some TV show or something that's, that's on. I didn't really understand that part, but anyway. It comes to Lycanroc versus Type Null. And this is a really cool, because this is Null's first battle against a trainer, which results in Ash celebrating. Um, but Null's first attack immediately wakes Nebby up. Uh, I put that in the notes, but it turned out that that didn't really affect anything. You'll find out later where it does come into play. But Gladion goes for Swords Dance. Like, he is out here to win. And the animation for Swords Dance looks amazing in the game. because it, Or in the show, because it, like... The swords go around him like a dance, and then uh, you can see like the like an animation that shows his attack went up. I think that's really cool that they would do something like that in the show. Um, but Null is absolutely smacking up Lycanroc, and Ash says, "Man, this thing is faster than I thought." Um, but Null eventually uses double hit, which knocks Lycanroc into the water. And as we saw earlier. It's not that Lycanroc doesn't like the water, but Lycanroc stands up in the water and looks at his reflection and sees that he's dirty, and that causes him to go into a blind rage with red eyes again. Uh, kind of like me. I don't know what I did to scratch my eye, but anyway. Um, he attacks in a blind rage, but he's not attacking Ash. Like, he still knows that Ash is Ash, because Ash comes over and like puts his arm around him, trying to get him to calm down. And Lycanroc's just yelling at him to let him go, but he never once attacks him. So, um, I think that's pretty cool. But because of this, um, when Lycanroc attacks Null, like, he's just in a blind rage and has no control. So, Null is just kind of standing there and just, like, dodging. Like, it, it's very... Lycanroc has a long way to go before this thing is, like, truly strong. But, um, all of the commotion winds up waking up Nebby. Uh, again, and Nebby starts screaming, as, as we've seen so far, where it looks like supersonic, but some, for some reason, this winds up cleaning Lycanroc. So, like, what powers does Nebby have to have in order for that to happen? Like, Nebby just said, okay, I want this to stop, so all I gotta do is clean Lycanroc and it'll stop. Like, that's very weird. I don't know. That's very weird to me, but Lycanroc calms down. And then they continue the battle. I, I don't know. It was very strange. But um, uh, Gladion goes for an SD again. So this thing is what? Plus four attack. And Lycanroc goes in with two SL rocks. Neither of which really hit. And uh, Gladion goes for a clush claw, Crush Claw. Absolutely sending Lycanroc flying. Gladion is very strong trainer and I like the Gladion that we're seeing so far in the anime um, he's very edge yeah he's very edge but I think he's very cool I think he's a really cool character I really like Sun and Moon because Lusamine is cool I really like Lily I like Gladion I hate most of the rest of them but that's okay uh, right now we're in the age that we're gonna be seeing these these blonde people you know what I mean um, and then to end the episode, Gladion asks Ash not to tell anybody about their meeting and where they met up because um, I guess Noel hasn't, like, he hasn't shown Noel to anybody else um, yet. Um, and then the episode ends where Ash, you know, Nebby is asleep and can't teleport the group back. So they wind up having to walk. Uh, and thanks to Lycanroc, they find their way back. So that's the end of that episode. Now, the preview for the next episode. Starts out with, um, I guess, the butler, Lily's butler, um, trying to take like a video or pictures or something, and Lily's just not having it. Um, the group is at school learning about Z-move poses, and they do like the Firium Z or whatever, and you can see off to the side 
that someone starts glowing. I would imagine that's gonna be Kiawe because like he has the fiery MZ. I, I have no idea, but um, Lily and Lusamine are talking over the phone and it results in Lily yelling at Lusamine and then hanging up. We see Professor Burnett around uh, sitting out with Lily and walking with Kukui. And the last thing that we see is Lily meeting Type Null and Gladion in a cave. I have no idea how Lily's gonna get to a cave. It seems very strange, but next week could be super interesting. But that's it for this video. Uh, tell me, as always, go ahead and tell me what your favorite part of the episode was. Um, do uh, go ahead and hit the like button. Do subscribe if you're new. We will see you next week for the next uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review. And we will especially see you once Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon come out. As I was starting to say earlier, we're going to be doing two or three videos of that every single day um, until we get close to the end or at some point uh, I already have the next I already have two series that are going to start after that already lined up it's going to be awesome once the game gets here but again I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next sun and moon anime review until then have a blessed day